Curious Lloyd. Most people hope they'll die by passing in their sleep in a peaceful setting or maybe surrounded by loved ones. But for the victims of these 12 executions, that couldn't be further from reality, whether it's being set on fire or having your limbs slowly cut off. These deaths are sure to make you cringe. I'd say enjoy, but that would be a little weird. Instead, let's just say try not to throw up on your keyboard. Buried Alive Being buried alive starts the list of executions. Dating back to BC, this punishment has been used for individuals as well as groups. The victim is usually tied up and then placed in a hole and buried. One of the most recent and disturbing uses of this form of execution was the Nanjing Massacre during 1922 till 1939, when Japanese soldiers buried groups of Chinese civilians alive in what was referred as the 10,000 Corp Ditch. The Snake Pit One of the oldest forms of torture and execution, snake pits were a very common form of capital punishment. Convicts were cast into a deep pit with venomous snakes, dying after the irritated and poorly fed snakes attacked them. Several famous leaders have said to have died this way, including Ragnar Lothbrok, the Viking warlord, and Gunnar, the King of Burgundy. Some variation on the traditional snake pit is being thrown into a small pool of water containing water snakes. Sawing Sawing in half was an incredible cruel execution method, used mostly in medieval Europe. During the process, the criminal would be hung upside down from a tree or gallows. A large saw would then be used to slice his or her body in half, starting with the crotch, all the way down to the chest and head. While some victims were completely cut in half, most of them were only sliced up to the abdomen, prolonging their agony. Because the victims were hung upside down, the brain was receiving sufficient blood flow to keep them alive and conscious until the sore finally reached the main arteries in the abdomen. In extreme cases, the execution could last for several hours. The Chinese version of this execution method, the soaring would begin at the top of the head, with the victim standing upwards, causing immediate death after a few seconds. Burning at the stake Death by burning has been used as a form of capital punishment for centuries, often associated with crimes such as treason and witchcraft. Today it is considered cruel and unusual punishment, but before the 18th century, being burned on a stake was a common practice. The victim is tied to a large stake, frequently in the centre of a town or anywhere with onlookers, and then lit on fire. It is considered one of the slowest ways to die. Execution by Elephant In South and Southeast Asia, the elephant has been a method of capital punishment for thousands of years. The animals were trained to execute two ways, slowly in a prolonged manner, dismembering and torturing or by crushing, which killed the victim nearly instantly, usually employed by royalty. These elephant assassins only heightened the fear of royalty to the common people, proving that they even had the ability to control wild animals. The concept was eventually adopted and finessed by the Roman military to deal with deserting soldiers. Rat Torture Often known simply as the rat, this was a specially cruel and gruesome method of execution, originally used in medieval China, described as the most brutal torture technique ever devised. It employed living rats eating through the victim's flesh. At the beginning, a large pottery bowl filled with a couple of rats was placed open side down on the naked person's prisoner's body. Large amounts of red hot charcoal was then piled on the top of the bowl, gradually heating the air inside. Rats, being terrified of heat, then slowly gnawed their way outside through the victim's flesh. Only a small percentage of victims survived this gruesome procedure. Most of them died due to intense internal bleeding and septic shock from several infected wounds. Hanged, drawn and quartered. The penalty for high to reason in England to be hanged, drawn and quartered was a common occurrence during medieval times. Although it was abolished in 1814, this form of execution was responsible for hundreds, perhaps even thousands of deaths. This process was as follows. First, the victim is dragged on a wooden frame, called a hurdle, to the place of the execution, 
Second, the victim is hanged by neck for a short period of time until nearly dead. That's the hanged part. Third, the disembowelment and castration occur, where afterwards the entrails and genitalia are burnt in front of the victim. That's the drawn part. Finally, the body is divided into four separate parts and beheaded. So then you are quartered. The guillotine. The guillotine is one of the most notorious forms of execution, made up of a razor-sharp blade attached to a rope. The victim's head was then placed in the middle of the frame, and then the blade was dropped with efficiency, causing the person to be decapitated almost instantly. The guillotine is a seemingly humane method of execution, until you consider that people potentially are still alive for a few moments following the act. Crowds have reported that people who have been guillotined would blink their eyes or mouth words shortly after their heads have been cut off. Experts theorized the swiftness of the blade had little impact on the brain and didn't cause loss of consciousness. One doctor even reported witnessing a man's execution and when he called the prisoner's name after his head was detached, the prisoner made eye contact with him, even focusing his pupils. It must have been pretty weird to know that your head is no longer attached to your body. Flaying. Skinning alive also known as flaying, was one of the most gruesome execution methods ever conceived, especially prevalent during the classical antiquity. It was used mostly on captured soldiers and dangerous criminals. The Aztecs of Mexico often flayed their war prisoners during ritual human sacrifices. There are also many indications of ancient Assyrian flaying, the defeated rulers of their enemies and nailing their skin to city walls, as a warning to all potential rebels. In most used method of flaying, the person's hands were tied above his or her's head, while the executioner gradually cut off all the skin using a very sharp knife, starting at the face. Often, attempts were made to keep the skin intact. Other methods involving severely burning the victim and then gradually peeling his or her skin off. In the year 415, Hypatia of Alexandria, the famous female mathematician and philosopher, was allegedly flayed alive by enraged Christian mob using sharp oyster shells. Crucifixion. The crucifixion was an ancient execution method in which the criminal's hand and feet were bound or nailed to a wooden cross-like structure. It was a capital punishment reversed for slaves and traitors, and usually the worst of criminals. It became widespread during the reign of Alexander the Great, but it still remains an occasional use in some countries. There were various methods of performing the crucifixion. Usually, the prisoner had to drag the crossbeam of his cross, weighing around 100 pounds, to the place of execution. Subsequently, his outstretched arms were bound to the crossbeam, or sometimes nailed through the wrists, and the crossbeam was raised and fixed to the already standing upright post. Death was usually caused by overall exhaustion or by heart failure. To shorten the victim's suffering, his legs were shattered using an iron club, so that subsequent asphyxiation soon ended his life. The Brazen Bull The Brazen Bull, sometimes known as the Sicilian Bull, is one of the cruelest methods of torture and execution out there. Designed in ancient Greece, solid brass was cast into the shape of a hollow bull, with a door on the side that opened and latched. To begin the execution, the victim was placed inside of a brass bull and fire was set underneath. The fire was heated up until the metal was literally yellow, causing the victim to roast to death. Yum. The ball was designed so that the screams of the victim would come out sounding musical for the enjoyment of the executioner. Naturally enough, the inventor of this form of punishment ended up being executed inside of the ball, which was all too predictable. You live by the horns, you die by the horns. The Boats This incredible cruel method of execution originates from the ancient Persia, sometimes also called a scaphism. The criminal was contained inside of a pair of narrow rowboats, or some variations in a large wooden tub, with his head and hands and feet protruding outside of this container. The person was then forced to ingest large amounts of milk and honey until developing severe diarrhea, and mixture of milk and honey was also rubbed on exposed parts of his body, attracting flies and other insect species. Then he was left afloat on a still pond or a lake. The defenseless person's fecal matter slowly accumulated within the container, which ate and bred within his or her exposed and increasingly gangrenous flesh. 
The person was then repeatedly fed each day to prevent fatal dehydration and starvation, often prolonging the torture to several days or even weeks. Death, when it eventually occurred, was often caused by a combination of various factors, most often because of septic shock, starvation or dehydration. So there you have it, 12 of the worst execution methods in history. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and I will see you Sunday with another video.